hello friends welcome back to another video so this video is going to be very important why because in this video we are going to learn about the most electrical elements which are used in the electrical system and also we are going to see their symbols okay so what are the electrical elements which are used in the electrical system and also their symbols are going to discuss in this video in a very proper manner so please watch till the end of this video because this video is going to be very important for you guys so here these are the outlines of this video so firstly we will see that what is the register and what is the symbol of register and second is inductor and third is capacitor then diode then switch fuse alternating current and also direct current ammeter symbol and also what is ammeter also we are going to discuss in this video and what is voltmeter and what is watt meter next grounding and next one that is transformer and the 14th one that is a circuit breaker and the 15th one that is a battery symbol and also the use of a battery okay so next that is a electric lamp and next is electric motor and the last one that is a relay so these are the outlines of this video so let's start one by one so first of all let's see what is a register and what is the symbol for register okay so register is a device which is generally used to oppose the flow of electric current in a circuit okay so this is the definition of register and the symbol you can see in the image also the symbol for register is this okay so next is inductor so inductor is a coil that stores electrical energy in a magnetic field when the electric current flows through it okay so this is the definition for an inductor and this is the symbol for an inductor okay so next is capacitor so a capacitor is a two terminal electrical device which stores the electrical energy in the form of electric charge okay so this is the definition for capacitor okay so this is a symbol for capacitor also so next is diode a diode is a semiconductor device that essentially act as a one way switch for the current okay that means it allows the current in only one direction okay so this is the definition for a diode and here you can see in the image that this is the symbol for a diode okay so next is an electrical switch so a switch is an electrical component that can connect and also it can disconnect the conducting path in an electrical circuit okay so it can be act as a connector and also can act as a disconnector for a circuit okay so this is the symbol for a switch okay so next is a fuse okay so a fuse commonly consists of a current conducting strip or a wire of easily fusible metal that can melt when the current is very high in the circuit okay so fuse is generally work as a protecting system or protecting element okay so this is for the protection of the system or the circuit okay here you can see in the image also the fuse is looks like this that means the symbol for fuse is this okay so next is alternating current okay so alternating current or ac is a type of electric current in which the direction of the flow of electrons switches back and forth at a regular interval or cycles okay so this is the alternating current definition and also you can see the symbol for the alternating current so the next is dc or direct current okay so direct current is one directional flow of electric charge that means here the current flows only in one direction so that's why we are calling it as a direct current okay so this is the symbol for direct current also so next is ammeter so what is an ammeter so ammeter is an instrument which is used to measure the electric current in a circuit okay so this is the use of a ammeter okay so this your here you can see that the ammeter symbol is looks like this okay so next is voltmeter so similarly voltmeter is generally used to measure the voltage in a circuit okay so this is the symbol for voltmeter also so next is watt meter so what is a watt meter so watt meter is generally used to measure the power flowing in the circuit okay so total power is measured by the watt meter 
okay so this is the symbol for watt meter also so next is electrical grounding so electrical grounding is the process of directing the excess electricity to the grounding via a wire okay so with the help of a wire the grounding is generally used to flow the excess amount of electricity to the earth okay so this is the symbol for grounding okay so next is transformer okay so transformer is a device which transfer the electric energy by stepping off and stepping down the energy okay without any change in frequency the voltage may have changed but the frequency is constant throughout the circuit in a transformer okay so this is the symbol for a transformer and next is a circuit breaker so what is a circuit breaker so circuit breaker is an electrical safety device a switch that automatically interrupts the current of an overloaded electric circuit grounding and faults and short circuit okay so this is the protections which are available for a circuit breaker okay so circuit breaker helps in this type of protection so next is an electric battery an electric battery is a source of electric power okay which delivers the electrical energy to the load for the infinity duration of time okay for a long duration of time also okay so this is the symbol for battery and next is so next is electric lamp an electric lamp is an electrical component that produce light okay so this is the main definition of an electric lamp okay so here you can see in the image also the symbol for electric lamp so next is electric motor so an electric motor is an electrical machine okay that converts the electrical energy into the mechanical energy by means of torque at the output section of a motor so here you can see the image of symbol for electric motor is last but not the least which is relay a relay is an electrically operated switch which consists of a set of inputs terminals for a single or multiple control signals okay so this is the definition for electrical operated relay and this is the symbol for relay okay so it's all about the most commonly used electrical elements in the electrical system okay so see you on the next video thanks for watching this video